What is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion. It is March 28, and we are going to get into some gaming news. Let's just get into the most exciting news of this week, which is the announcement of Marvel Rivals, a 6v6 team-based shooter similar to Overwatch, similar to Team Fortress 2. Um, it looks really good, and it looks fun. Uh, just being able to play a a game like this with your favorite Marvel characters is really cool. They got Iron Man, they got the Hulk, they got Neymar, uh, they have a bunch of other characters, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange. It looks really fun. Um, there's supposed to be a closed alpha April 12th, um, and there's supposed to be an open beta in May. I'll post a link down below. There's a registration form for the closed beta, and I think it's only going to be on PC at the moment, um, but... I'm really excited for it. It looks it looks fun. It, it's cool. It has a lot of personality into it. We we've all grown up with the Marvel series, or most of us at least. So um, I'm excited for it. It looks good. I want to play it, and uh, I'm going to sign up for the beta. And I think we need more games to just compete with Overwatch. Overwatch has been on a slow decline, not even slow, a fast decline for over like over the last like four to five years they're not doing what fans want maybe this game will so uh you know healthy competition is always good maybe they'll see that oh my god this game is stealing all our players maybe we should do what our community wants it could be something like that because i i know they had just released a thing saying we're probably not going to do PVE and Overwatch. Well, maybe this game comes out, all their players leave for this game, and then they were like, well, actually, we're going to add it in. <laughs> you know, so it, it, I, I hope something like that happens. I hope this game breeds better competition. Healthy competition is always good, and I hope it's able to provide that. I also hope I get invited to the closed alpha. If not, we'll be there for the open beta in May. But this game looks really good, and I can't wait to play it. Okay, so let's get on to our next story. We have the Apex Legends Game Series Regional Finals. Basically, we did a previous video on this, and there was a hacker, and he was able to push cheats to the player's game. So he could push aimbot, he could push wall hacks, he could push a bunch of hacks to these players' games and make it seem like they were cheating. They never figured out this backdoor entry of the game, and I don't think they have enough time to figure it out. So what they did instead was host the event behind closed doors or host it offline. Don't stream it. Uh, that way the hacker didn't know. That way the public didn't know. And they could still get the final results, see who's going to compete in L.A. And I, I think this is perfectly fine just because we don't know how long it would have taken for Respawn or EA or whoever uh, easy anti-cheat to find a fix for the issue because out of those three they have to figure out what's going on why is a hacker able to push cheats to another player's game right so instead of waiting the three to six months to play out the finals they host it behind closed doors post the results figure out what's going on later and you don't have to postpone the event just because i feel like it's not really fair to the players like imagine you tried to compete, boom, this hacker does this, you can't compete, you have to wait six to eight months for a fix, or who, who, who knows how long it's going to take, right, for, for them to find this backdoor entry of what that hacker did. Uh, you know, just host the event in private, post the results, and go on from there, just because I, I feel like it's not fair to the players, and since the players did go through with this, I'm sure it's something that they didn't mind doing. So apparently, images have leaked of an all digital Xbox Series X online. I don't know how you guys feel about the Xbox, but I've always thought aesthetically it's been really good. Uh, the Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, both of them, I've always thought they looked good. So it's kind of cool that now we, we've, we've had a black Series X, but now we, we're getting a white Series X. So that's cool. It sucks that it's digital only just because I, don't, I feel like that's just bad for us in general, just because if everything's digital, it's just bad. But gaming and just, you know, streaming videos, everything is moving towards that. Uh, you, you, you've seen it, you know, Best Buy taking out all their physical whatever DVDs, movies, games. Uh, it's just it's happening all over. It's more convenient. It's easier. Uh, it 
you know, it, it just makes sense, but it also sucks. But in terms of the Xbox Series X, I, I feel like it looks good. It looks great. It's not crazy that it's getting a white version just because the Series S also has a white version. But uh, I think people will probably jump on it. It sucks that it's all digital, but, uh, you know, that, that's that's where we're at. All right. For all my Mass Effect fans out there, we got some news regarding Mass Effect 5. A user on X, formerly known as Twitter, of the name of Woke Lord of Wokoma. <laughs> I want to believe this, but if you have a source to verify the ME5 teams got trilogy veterans, that would really be worth a lot. And Michael Gamble, which is the project director, says EP art director, creative director, game director are all trilogy vets. So this is really good news. I feel like in order for Mass Effect to continue to be great, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, we need to have these people in charge of the story for Mass Effect. I'm not saying these vets can be the only people to ever make Mass Effect good, but uh, I feel like Andromeda was such a flop. We need to go back, right? We need to go back to the framework, see what the heck's going on. And them hiring these veterans, I feel like is a good start, a good framework. And we can kind of level up with that. I have really high hopes for Mass Effect 5. I had really high hopes for Andromeda. I hope it's good. I hope these, uh, these trilogy veterans can make Mass Effect 5 good. And it's just good news to hear that people on the previous project are working on this project because the trilogy was great. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Uh, you know, Mass Effect 3 had its whatever. But I, I think if we were to take it all as a whole, they did a good job. So I'm, I'm cool with this. And uh, I, I really hope Mass Effect 5 is great. So that's all the gaming news I have for today. I know it's not that much, but Marvel Rivals getting revealed is huge. The game looks really fun. The game looks really great. Just being able to be your favorite Marvel characters, and I'm sure down the line, they're gonna add more Marvel characters, more popular ones as well. And it's just gonna be a fun game, a fun time. The uh, closed beta, or I'm sorry, the closed alpha is supposed to be April 12th. The open beta is supposed to be sometime in May. The Steam page is already up. Uh, it, it looks good. I, I can't wait to play it. Let me know what you think about the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you thought the video was shh, give it a thumbs down. And um, thank you guys. If you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I will definitely catch you guys next time. Take care.